Hey guys! Today we're making our super easy version of tandoori chicken. That's right, it's high protein, low carb, so, so let's, let's get started. Preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit or 190 degrees Celsius. For our spices, we have some cayenne pepper, turmeric, garam masala, paprika, salt, and pepper. I'm gonna show you how to prepare the marinade for the chicken thighs and the chicken legs. So first, we're gonna use one and a half cups of yogurt. Add the juice of one half of a lemon with Adam's favorite lemon squeezer thingy. Mm -hmm. Link in the description. <laughs> and now, we're gonna use my favorite garlic squisher to crush in the garlic. We're gonna use four cloves for now. But don't wash this yet because you're gonna use it again later for the cauliflower rice. Oh yeah, look at all that garlic. And finally, we're gonna add in all these beautiful spices. No. Mix it all together. Ooh, it's so pretty. You can also just use red chili powder if you don't have cayenne powder. It also will make it not as spicy. And that's it. As you can see, it's a little bit orange instead of bright red, but that's because we found so many recipes online that tell you to use red food dye. And we're not gonna use red food dye, and we definitely don't recommend that you do either. So this color is still beautiful, and it'll still taste delicious, which is the most important part. When it comes to the chicken, this recipe is quite flexible. You can use anything from chicken breast, chicken thigh, or drumsticks. Today we're gonna to use a mixture of thigh and drumstick. That's because having that bone in there does give a really good flavor and keeps the moisture. So, before we marinate it, we're gonna just score the chicken slightly and then chuck it in the marinade. You're just gonna cut some slits through the skin into the meat. Skin on is totally fine. You haven't gotta eat the skin, but keeping the skin on is gonna bring a lot of flavor. Doesn't matter how many you do. It's gonna help to have a really sharp knife. If you wanna get more control, you can just hold the leg, like so, and just cut a slice, and cut a slice. Beautiful. Now we're gonna pop the thighs and the legs straight into the marinade. And we're gonna start mixing it all together. Ooh la la. Once we're all coated, set them aside while we prepare the cauliflower. You don't want to go through all the trouble to prepare cauliflower rice. You can just grab your cauliflower and cut it out really small and then pop it in a pan and roast it. Much easier than grating. So I've just taken the core out and now we're just going to cut it nice and fine. Look, Look that at goes. that. Easy as that, guys. So much easier than trying to make cauliflower rice. That's right. That's it. And then you can just do a couple big strokes. Like this way, nice and rough, it doesn't matter. Now we can pop it straight onto our tray. Then you're just going to add four cloves of chopped garlic. You can use a mincer or you can chop it yourself. Add a teaspoon of Himalayan salt and the same of cracked black pepper. Now add two tablespoons of olive oil. Mix it all around. You can, of course, use any of the seasonings that we used earlier, or you can just do what we're doing and make some nice garlic cauliflower rice. Oh yeah. Spread it all out. And now we're just gonna pop it in the oven. Put it on the bottom rack. Now you're gonna place the marinated chicken into a pan with high edges and then cover with alfoil and pop it in the oven. <laughs> and by alfoil, you mean aluminum foil or tin foil, as the Americans call it? That's the one. <laughs> Alfoil, mate. Alfoil. Australia, mate. Make sure you get all those juices in there, all the marinade. You want to go ahead and spread it out and try to put it so the skin side is up on the thighs. If you're cooking with the thighs, make sure that the skin side is up. Spread it all out. Okay, we're going to cover it with our foil. And we're going to go into the oven. Straight on top. Set the timer for 20 minutes. So while it's all in the oven, you'll have time to go to Amazon and purchase the pre-order to our 12 week meal plan cookbook. That includes macros, shopping lists, and 12 weeks of plans, including breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Click the link in the description box below. Woohoo! Once the timer goes off, take out the cauliflower. Ooh. Oh, smell that garlic. Mmm. Beautiful. Mmm. 
gonna set the time up for the chicken for another 25 minutes. Now the time is done, we're gonna take it out of the oven. Carefully take off the alfoil. foil. Ooh, look at that. Oh, oh wow. Man. Okay, I'm gonna finish it off. We're gonna grab some of the juices. We're gonna drizzle on top. And then we're gonna pop it into the broiler to brown it up. Switch the oven to the broiler and put it on high. After about two to three minutes, be ready to come out. Ooh. Mmm, looks and smells amazing. So there you go, easy tandoori chicken. Time to bite it up. Because we cover the chicken in alfoil, it helps steam the chicken, so it's gonna leave a lot of nice juices in the pan, so you can definitely add them in. Mmm. Lots of flavor. Oh yeah. Garnish with some coriander, or as you call it in America, cilantro. Share this video with a friend that loves low carb. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and once you've subscribed, turn on your notifications because lots of exciting stuff is coming. Bye, Bye guys. Namaste. And the macros. And my eyelashes are on point.